Hello everybody and welcome to the Shadow Legion. I am your host, the Shadow of course, and today we're going to be talking about ants. Now in many ways, ants are incredibly smart creatures because they have the ability to outwit, outplay, and basically outlast humans. Not only that, but their complex cooperative societies enable them to survive and thrive in conditions that would challenge individual insects. And that's only one, one tiny little fact about ants. So I've gone, I've done my research, I've found the five best facts, or the five most interesting facts, for you guys. So sit back and relax as we have a look at top five amazing facts about ants. Now at number five, some ants are known to form what are called super colonies, which are massive communities of ants that can stretch for tens of thousands of miles. Now Argentine ants, natives of South America, obviously, now inhabit every continent on the planet except for Antarctica due to accidental introductions. Now they are able to do this because each ant colony has a distinctive chemical profile that enables members of the group to recognize each other and it also alerts the colony to the presence of strangers. Scientists have in fact recently discovered that massive super colonies in Europe, North America and Japan all share the same chemical profile, meaning that they are in essence one global super colony of ants. Say, let's pretend this grain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> how about this? If you're just sitting back relaxing somewhere in North America, maybe on your back patio or something, and you see a colony of ants in your backyard, they may very well have Japanese relatives. Hmm. You didn't know that, did you? At number four, some ants will enslave other ants, keeping them captive and making them do their own work for the colony. Now surprisingly, quite a few ant species will take captives from other ant species, forcing them to do their own chores for their own colony. Some honeypot ants will even enslave ants of their own species, taking individuals from foreign colonies to do their bidding. What? An example of this is queen ants of the Amazon ant species will actually raid the colonies of unsuspecting Formica ants. Now, the Amazon queen, once there, will find and kill the Formica queen and then enslave the entire colony. If you think that's bad, it's about to get worse. The slave workers will then help the new queen with her own children, whose only sole purpose, once reaching adulthood, will be to go to other colonies and steal their children so they can ensure a steady stream of ant slaves. Until one day, one of the ants named Moses walks up to the queen and says, Let my species go. At number three, ants sometimes herd or tend to insects of other species. Now ants will do just about anything to get a taste of the sugary secretions of sap sucking insects called honeydew. Now in order for the ants to keep this sweet stuff in close and constant proximity, some ants will herd aphids, carrying these soft body pests from plant to plant. So the aphids have a wonderful gig, they get looked after and protected and all they have to do is give out a little bit of sugary substance that the ants absolutely love. Not unlike a drug dealer controlling his employees by using drugs instead of money. But wait, there's more! Not only aphids, but leaf hoppers will also take advantage of the nurturing tendency of the ants and their need to get their hands on the sugary substance, and sometimes they will actually leave their young behind for the ants to look after. So the ants are nature's crack-addicted babysitters. At number two, the total biomass of all the ants on the planet is roughly equal to the total biomass of all human beings. Now, I can hear yourself asking, how can this possibly be? Ants are incredibly tiny and humans are massive. How can our weight possibly be the same? But scientists estimate that there is at least 1.5 million ants on this planet for every human being. 
Now, there are over 12,000 species of ants that are known to exist, and they stretch across every continent on the planet, except, of course, for Antarctica. Now, most live in tropical regions, and it is estimated that a single acre of Amazon rainforest may house 3.5 million ants. Now, that is a lot of ants. Sort of begs the question, if there's so many ants on the planet, how come there aren't more ant eaters? And at number one, ants are capable of carrying objects that are 50 times their own body weight. If you can't put that into perspective, that is basically me lifting 4,000 kilos. Wow! Now, ants use their tiny, tiny size to their advantage because relative to their size, their muscles are actually thicker than those of larger animals, such as humans. Now this particular ratio enables the ant to produce more force and carry heavier objects. And like I just said before, if we had muscles that are in proportion to that of the ants, we'd be able to lift automobiles over our heads. And that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the interesting facts about ants. Hopefully you didn't know too many of these and you learned something. If you knew these already, good on you. You are a smart cookie. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are in the description. If you have an idea for a list that you want to see, a top 5, 10, or 20, leave that in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss a single notification. I upload a new video every Sunday, and that's when I hope to see you guys next week with a brand new video. See you next time.